Hey guys, Ryan over at Maverick Metalworks. Uh, today I'm showing you a trailer that we actually have for sale. Uh, this was a mobile office that we were building for a company. They were gonna bring it out to different locations and set up as a vendor and then be able to lift it back up, drive down the road. Uh, it would be perfect for a tiny home. It'd be perfect for, like I said, a mobile office, whether it's a food truck, a mobile bar, or anything else that you could think of with it. Um, the company, unfortunately, partway through the project ended up having an issue with their financing and had to abandon ship. So we are trying to recoup some of the costs that we have invested and get back out of it. Uh, we're looking for 8,000. We have a lot more in it at this point. You're pretty much paying for materials at that price. Um, not even anything going towards labor. But the cool part about this trailer is the entire frame actually drops down and sits on the floor. I'll do a walk around and show you kind of the amenities of the trailer in a little bit but right now I'm gonna have Trevor uh, drop the winches down and give you a quick demo uh, one person can lower this thing onto the ground in about 10 minutes lift it back up in another 10 uh, the way it's set up it's an axle system you can go ahead and start there is a winch on either side and one at the front so you'll pull this pin out normally we drop it right back in here just to hold everything into place and the entire leaf assembly is being lifted upward, which, due to gravity, drops the trailer onto the ground. So I'll give you a quick view on this side. But you go about halfway down, and then he's going to lock it into place and go to the other side. All right. So he will lock it back in to make sure it doesn't drop down on its own, and then go to the other side. where we have the exact same setup. As you can see, the back end is dropping down towards the ground. Now that the tire is lifted somewhat off the ground, we'll go back to the first side. And with both sides on the ground, we go towards the front. There is one more winch system. We already have the, the pin pulled out. The pin drops in through here. There's a cantilever set up. Causing the front end to pivot towards the ground. There's a bit of a teeter-totter action that happens now. Oh, drop it down just a little bit further. And you can leave it in the downwards position. Keep going. All right, with a little bit of slack there, we'll now go back to the left and right side. We do just a touch more to drop everything to the ground and then everything will sit level. There is four adjustment feet that are on the ground if you're in a more of a permanent location. Let me go to the other side. All right, so we now have the entire surface of the trailer is sitting flush against the ground. The wheels are tucked up. Front of the trailer is tucked. To make things even more incognito, we designed these flip-up tables. Uh, so Trevor's gonna give you an example. There's two hinges. The entire table flips inwards for storage, but then drops out 
and down. Oh, we're sitting on this uh, chalk right here and drops downwards. And when it's completely wrapped, we'll hide the wheel well and hide the fact that it's a trailer. When you're done, you'll take the table, you'll pick it up and flip it back into its resting place. That way it's nice and secure for travel. Uh, there is one of these that goes on either side. We only have one in currently. On the rear, we have nice wide barn doors that give you full access, one on either side. That'll give you access to the back of the trailer, whether you keep storage back here, you have a display, which was the idea behind this one. There's gonna be a TV in this compartment, um, but it gives you full access over here. And then going along the outside surface here, if you imagine you have the desk drop down, it gives you this big open window if you're doing a food truck or any sort of commercial where you're gonna have customers coming up. That'll give you an opening on either side. You can choose to use one or both. And then this is the doorway to get in and out of the trailer. Uh, it's a nice wide opening, but it can be closed up if you wanna do just a standard house uh, style door or uh, whatever you want to do to finish it. Uh, it's an extremely sturdy design. It's meant to take a lot of stress. Uh, what isn't videoed here or pictured here is we have full aluminum panels that drop out. They fold over the wheel well, so that way it can fold down and cover up the entire area, but then they fold up and you imagine you would have a uh, eight foot by, I believe it's 16 foot uh, canopy on both sides with two legs that drop down. Um, so that was the idea behind it. I'm also going to add a couple pictures uh, to the ad uh, or you can ask me to send them to you. Uh, my number is 919-609-1274. Um, we have a 3D sketch of what everything was going to look like. That way you can see what our vision was. Uh, but let your creativity take a take your path. Uh, anything you can think, can think of, uh, it can be done. Whether we do more work to it for you, you do it yourself. Uh, but yeah, here's the trailer. Uh, it takes about another five or ten minutes to lift it back up. It ended up taking us just six minutes with Trevor alone dropping it down, uh, including taking the video. Uh, when you flip everything back up, hook up to your truck, drive down the road, and find your new location, drop it back down, and do it again. If you have any questions, let me know. But again, we are selling this and we are asking 8,000 for it. Thank you so much.